Hello everyone. Let's see how we can map a subdomain to a static S3 bucket. Here on AWS Management Console, I will click on S3. Here I have my S3 console. I want to create a bucket. I will name this bucket subdomain dot my domain name and I want to add dub dub to the front of my subdomain I will enable public access and acknowledge for this video we will not be using any bucket versioning or server-side encryption so I'm going to create this bucket now that we have our bucket created we want to go to properties and enable static web hosting. We'll name this index.html index.h T M L and save. Now that you've saved that, let's upload an index.html page that we want viewers to see when they visit our web page. I've uploaded an index.html file and I will save and upload this file. File has been uploaded. The next thing that we want to do is to configure our bucket policy. So under permissions, we want to go to bucket policy and edit. Bucket policy generator, we will uh, select our Amazon resource name and select the generator. And for policy type, we want an S3 bucket policy. Principle, we will add a wildcard for any actions. We want to get object. And we will paste our resource name here with a forward slash and an asterisk. Let's add this statement and let us generate a policy. Here we have our policy generated. I will copy this policy and paste it into our policy. So here we have our policy. I will save this policy. Now we want to go back to our properties and select our bucket URL from Amazon. So now we want to go to our DNS managed provider. In this case, I have a DNS hosted with Route 53. So I will navigate over to Route 53. I'm going to select the record that the bucket was created for. And here I'm going to create a new record set.
So we'll call this dub 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 subdomain and we'll make this a C name value. We'll paste the Amazon bucket URL here and we will define a simple record set. So here we have our record set with time to live set to 300 seconds. For the purposes of this video, let's edit that to 30 seconds. Save changes. It says our subdomain was successfully created. Let's copy our subdomain and let's paste it. We have successfully created a subdomain pointing to an S3 bucket. Like, comment, subscribe if you like to see more videos.